Hello, everybody. Joseph Albert, Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine, to call your attention to what I think is a very interesting and clinically relevant study in this month's journal. Um, it's from uh, Israel. Um, Najar Debaney is the first author and, and a whole lot of uh, uh, people included you know, from the Israeli epidemiology uh, community. Um, Israel is like Scandinavia and like uh, Iceland and so forth. They have huge numbers of folks um, in these uh, uh, large databases, and they also can connect that to their health records. So it's the same sort of thing we're trying to do here in the U.S. with all of us, a million lives, and, um, and the U.K. already has half a million in their large data bank. And a lot of uh, interesting big data questions can be answered um, coming uh, uh, with comparisons out of the database. Uh, of course, we all know we're never going to have double-blind randomized controlled trials for every question we have in clinical medicine. So this gives us a lot of very strong clues. Um, and in this case, they looked at how many patients who had had the COVID and had been sick um, developed pulmonary fibrosis. And as you might imagine, the COVID pneumonia was nasty. There was lots of injury to the lung. And there was a substantial increased risk for pulmonary fibrosis. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, those of you who see these patients know pulmonary fibrosis is bad news. Patients are chronically terribly short of breath, even with oxygen. Um, I've had patients describe it to me as if you're drowning all the time. It's a very unpleasant um, illness. So uh, we're going to see more of it because the COVID, of course, is uh, widely distributed. Um, it looked like uh, it, the more severe your COVID infection, the more likely you were to have pulmonary fibrosis. So if you had mild um, COVID-19, you probably are, are safe. But those who were quite sick with COVID-19 are at, at a significantly increased risk for developing pulmonary fibrosis. Um, thanks again uh, for listening in and for reading the AJM. Please stay in touch with us through our multiple social media venues.